Hello, everybody. This is Joseph Norman. Welcome to our 10th lesson with Pure Data. Today, we're going to work on adding a voltage control filter to our signal. Uh, we're going to use some different control parameters on that voltage control filter, and we'll see what effects that they produce. And I'll explain the patch as we go through it. So to begin, let's go ahead and create an ADC. And let's go ahead, after that, and create our VCF tilde object. And we'll create some placeholder values here, uh, 220 hertz and 10. And we'll explain the significance of these values in short order. OK, so then let's go ahead and create a number box. And let's go ahead and create a sig, a sig tilde to turn those numbers into signal. Uh, let's go ahead and create an oscillator. And we're going to create just a placeholder value for that as well. All right. And then let's go ahead and create a signal multiplier. We'll attach that here. And we're going to create another number box. Attach that here. Let's go ahead and create a number box for our oscillator so we can change these values. Good. And then let's create an add tilde. All right. So what's happening here? Well, when we attach this to our voltage control filter in this middle inlet here, the this accounts for being the center frequency for the band pass. OK? So the number that we put here that's going into our signal box will be the center frequency in hertz for the band pass filter of the voltage control filter. At the same time, we're adding modulation in a similar way that uh, frequency modulation works, because this oscillator is going to act as a control module wherein a frequency, a certain amount, is going to be moved up or down. The bandpass filter is going to modulate up and down around the center frequency by a certain amount. So the oscillator here, the frequency, is determining the rate at which the oscillator is moving up and down. And then here, this box here controls the depth, or rather the amount of uh, the frequency that it's moving. So in other words, if we say 32 hertz here, and this is 220, four times a second, we're going to move up and down 32 hertz around 220. OK? So as you increase the rate here, at first, you have basically an auto filter effect, where in the filter you hear it shifting. But as you increase the rate of speed, similar to what happens with frequency modulation and amplitude modulation, you begin to generate sidebands around the signal that is coming in. And we will experiment with what that sounds like coming up. OK. Next, we're going to create another number box here. And we will attach it to this right inlet. This right inlet is the Q are basically the, the resonant peak of the center frequency here. Uh, it also, when the number is lower, for example, 1, you have a broader range of frequencies that are being attenuated. And as you increase 10, the band narrows for the frequencies that are allowed to pass through. OK. And then, of course, we can just add our ADC there. And similar to what we've done before, let's go ahead and create a couple variations of this particular patch. We can change some of the values and pass them through into different places here. For example, I will attach here and here. And then I will create a del right tilde. And once again, we'll just call one guitar L, and we'll say 4,000. And then we'll duplicate, and we'll say this one is guitar right. So for each of these, what we'll have is a voltage control with different settings sent out to the left and right channels. And then for this one, we'll send this out to both channels, and we'll have our guitar coming through. And we hear that effect has just a pure effect on the clean tone guitar without any delay. OK. 
So the next thing we want to do here is create our VD tildes. And we'll say guitar L. And we'll duplicate guitar R. Move that down here. Let's go ahead and create our pack zero. I uh, would we'll just say 500 this time. 500, not 5,000. Detach there. Attach there. All right, we'll create a number box. Excellent. And then, after we do that, let's go ahead and create uh, some low pass feedback again. This time, we'll say 2000 hertz. And we'll put that one there. We'll run those through there. Uh, let's go ahead and create our vertical sliders. Say properties uh, 0 to 90.99. Logarithmic. We'll create a number box. Um, let's go ahead and create a pack 0. 20 and then let's create a line tilde and then let's create a signal multiplier okay we'll run that in there run the low pass there I'm going to duplicate that for this other side here we'll do the same thing and then we'll feed that back up into our del right. Okay. Then at the same time, I want to create my DAC now. And then I want to create a signal multiplier for our central, center frequency. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say uh, 0 0.25 for the center frequency. And then let's go ahead and say. 0 0.2 for our left channel. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that and say 0 0.2 for the right channel. We'll attach those up there. Let me move that down. We'll make this a little bit more clear. So we'll put this here put this one here, move this one here, and we'll attach that to both the left and the right. Excellent. And then let's say we want to go ahead and record this. So let's go ahead and create an object. Write SF tilde 2. And then we're going to create a message box to say open, and we want to name our sound file. So we're just going to call this uh, guitar VCF dot wave. OK, we'll create another one, start. Create another one, stop. We'll attach all of those to the right SF, the left inlet. And th then. We will attach our signal multiplier boxes that are going to the DAC also to the right SF. So we'll attach this one to the left, and then this one to the right. OK. So after this, we're going to decide on some preset parameters for our delay time and also for our VCF settings. Okay, and then after that, I will play you an example of what these effects produce with the guitar, and I'll manipulate these settings while I'm playing so that you can hear the different effects that the different uh, settings for your depth and for your oscillation speed and for your center frequencies will produce. Also, I noticed I forgot to put in the line tilde in between the pack and the variable delay, so let me add that quickly.
All right, and now for the example with the guitar. We'll be right back. 